see how tough we were, and I think we showed the second half. But I told him, we practice in such a way every every day is four quarters for us. So I think we saw, you know, kind of overtook from there in the second half. Yeah, it, it feels great. Uh, I'm just great, glad to be a part of this team. You know, so we've been working all summer for this moment right here. It's going on to the playoffs and work hard. Uh, congratulations on the win, man. Congratulations on the region championship. Uh, obviously, that's four straight now for Clay Chalkwell, man. Just how does that feel right now? It's feel good. We just know we have, we have a good top of game. We just know we to keep everything we can ever do in this time. I hear you. Welcome back. Clay Chalkwell versus Gardendale, a game that God, really looked like it was going to be a – a big, big game in uh, 6A, Region 6. Uh, it was the championship game, and uh, Clay Chauvel just really manhandled them. They really did. It, it really wasn't something that a lot of people expected. Clay had been untested, some said, but I don't think there's any reason to say that this Clay Chauvel team wasn't fantastic throughout the season. They've dominated everybody they've played, and even Gardendale, Despite the, the the halftime score was a little close, but in the second half it was all gas, no breaks, as they like to say over in Clay. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we've talked since the first of the season that this Gardendale-Clay matchup, you know, really Gardendale might be the team that could give Clay the game. And, and they did for a little while. Game was close early on. A couple of bizarre plays on defense that, that really changed. Chris, talk about those two plays. Well, and, and this is what could have really been the turning point in the game. Clay Chalkville's going in for a score. They throw a fade route. It's intercepted by Pinson Valley. Goes up for the interception and starts jogging down the sideline about to the 15-yard line. Then he takes off running. Next thing you know, the officials are bringing it back. They've blown the whistle. He didn't step out of bounds. There was no reason to blow the whistle. He would have scored a touchdown. I mean, it, there was – no doubt that he's scoring a touchdown because there was nobody running after him, I guess because they heard the whistle. Nonetheless, Pinson gets the ball at the 20 yard line. The first play, they throw a hitch pattern and he decides to hook and ladder and throws the ball on the ground, scoop and score. It was uh, J Jamarlin Sewell, I believe, had the scoop and score. And from that point on, it was a 14 point turnaround. And it, it went from Gardendale possibly being ahead at the half to being down 10 um, to Clay Chalkboy at halftime. And that was a huge play for the Cougars. Well, and I know it kind of took the air out of Gardendale, but Clay Chalkville continues just to roll on offense. Ty Pigram led the Cougars 9 of 15 in the air for 146 yards, four touchdown passes, 16 rushes for 102 yards, another touchdown. He, he just continues to put up great numbers. I'll, I'll be honest with you, and Ty is a fantastic football player, don't get me wrong, but when you've got T.J. Simmons and Nico Collins to throw to, it's not real hard to have a really good night year, uh, night in and night out. Well, Clay Chalkville is uh, obviously going to they, – they've won their region. They're in the playoffs. They'll be a, a heavy favor to win 6A, but they're not looking ahead to the playoffs just yet because they have a game with Hewitt Trustful at home this week a rivalry game, I don't look for Clay to, to look past that game. Not at all. The paws and claws, it's, it's never a game that you're going to overlook. It's always a game you want to win. Obviously, Clay has been on the, the winning side for quite a long time now. But this game is shaping up to be something of the ages because the offense for Clay Chalkville, the defense that, that Hewitt Trustful does have, and they're, they're very good, led by Bailey McElwain on the defensive line. I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch this game because these two teams, they don't like each other and they're going to have a big, big time trying to make this one finish out. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a fun one. It always is. Always a great game. Our final game of the year this week was Pinson versus Shades Valley. We'll be right back with the highlights plus our players of the week. Stay tuned on Trustful Tribune Sports Live.